Ms. Murat Aslan joins me now. Hi, Murat. Now, Turkey has supported Azerbaijan from the beginning of this conflict, so it's not surprising that we're hearing these very strong statements coming from Turkish officials. When the foreign minister says Armenia will be held accountable, what steps do you think Ankara is going to take? There are many ways to have Armenians be accountable because what Armenians did up until now is a crime, war crime. Uh, the first issue is that uh, if you start a war, you must not be an aggressor because the rule of law is very clear pending to 1958 Convention of Genoa. You can't start a war by means of aggressive methods, but pass this uh, you know, occasion to the authority of United Nations Security Council. But you can only keep continue for self-defense. So from just very, uh, from very beginning, Armenia started to attack uh, Azerbaijani forces and also civilians. And moreover, as you know, to attack civilian uh, people and also cities are completely and strictly forbidden in the convention because European cities were devastated by the attacks during the uh, World War II. So we don't want the same thing again, but as you can see from the images, now we have rockets being exploded by Armenians in the center of the cities, so it's totally a war crime. Then international codes must be called for duty just to review the situation in terms of what has been done, in terms of starting a war, and how to conduct it, how it's being conducted. So then Armen Armenians will be accountable uh, in accordance with the speech of uh, Foreign Minister mm -hmm. of Turkey. Now, Murat, as this fighting continues, Azerbaijan has actually made significant gains. We know that uh, their forces have taken several villages in the Nagorno-Karabakh yeah. region. What do you think is going to happen over the next few days? Well, the ceasefire that's announced, you know, uh, 10 or 15 minutes ago is just an humanitarian one. That means it's temporary. And this is not the first time, as you know, it was declared in Moscow after the meetings of foreign ministers of Armenia, Azerbaijan, and also uh, Lavrov, Russian, but nothing obtained. That means it was a failure. Uh, everything continued in terms of fight, and also there were attacks to the cities. Now, this is again another occasion for a ceasefire, and now we will observe if Armenia will, you know, we stick to what is promised on the table in terms of ceasefire, because it's a need for humanitarian reasons. But, uh, you know, what you have done is actually a proof, an indicator of what you will do. So we will see tomorrow or the other day if they will obey with the, you know, rules that's imposed by the ceasefire agreement. But I don't think that it will be a long-lasting one, because... We know that Armenians uh, are really advancing from the south of the overall contact line, and Fuzuli and later than Jebrail provinces are being captured uh, today. That means that the gate is open for the central region of Karabakh. Okay, Murad Asan, always great to get your take live from Ankara. Thank you for that.